concentrate on doing four, wait, four or five dances. Now, the background of the start of it is that Billy Taylor was met by Clive Carey. And Clive Carey, as a collector, was very important because he wrote them what the man did every time he did it. Which means we've got an enormous variety of ways of doing all the bits and pieces. Uh, the man himself danced both on the Bennington and the Longer side in the younger days, as well as in the local team. In fact, it was a major source of the Bennington dancers that the collectors got. You know, so he was a genuine sort of man in dance for several teams. Or perhaps he actually just danced for the same team under different leaders. You never know what why it is. So we've got these notations which are in very fine detail, they're very good. The trouble is, like with the so cake, every time we did them, they were a bit different. We used to each five carriers saw them a bit different. So in putting it together, one had to make some decisions on what actually uh, we're going to teach. You know, because there's no point in trying to explain to a side. You do it like this, you do it like that, and so on. They're going to do it like that anyway. <laughs> but you can't teach it, you know, you've got to look the sort of thing. They, they should be other material on them because the John Taylor and Billy Taylor were actually met by the Chadwick Morris on more than one occasion. And he's reputed to have taught them Morris, no, taught them, taught them dead anything, but um, Art Holdington and Dance for them even though by the time in his 80s he was sort of more or less blind and uh, would insist on dancing in rooms full of chairs and things of that sort and they were all very feared of the match and that's the accident so um, but the material that was written Some of it's turned up and been given to the Warren Williams Library on some of the traditions like Brackley and the Bantam, but some of this other stuff has never appeared. Now, there is a problem with the Chadwick Morris side who came to the <coughs> when they realised there was a wider interest, they sort of put a, a stop on the material, you know, the people looking at the, um, the diaries, the so called logs and so on, and they thought somebody had been covered to organise it. They call the person doing that is somebody who, whatever he's done, again, hasn't seen the night of day. So there's possibly more material available as well. But it could well be rationalised in the sense of um, looking much more like getting it. But Clive Perry is fascinating because um, he danced the set dancers and he danced jigs in a significantly different style. In other words, the set dancers were a nice sort of relaxed way. But the jig is the same, you know, and show it off and so on. Um, so a different style, not un unusual at the Cotswold, I might say. Um, those who ever met Russell were at the ship, um, Sherbrooke with the circle, circle, gain and up and so on. It's because um, Simpson of Sherbrooke actually danced one of his jukes with this over elaborate hammer. It looks very effective to the jig. Um, it looks quite interesting when I was set down something like that, uh, which I think mean, Cambridge and Bedford do their shirt like that. You don't want to see it. So, but there is that uh, element. But besides a certain amount of uncertainty on the snows, uh, quite a lot to do, um, in working with Thames Valley, who have been doing this tradition now for nearly 40 years, so you know, it's sort of been ingrained in, the way, in how you do it. Uh, the, the oddity was the order of the figures. You know, the fact that in the notation where he did it, there was a foot up in front of everything, or a half hay in front of everything, whether it was a corner nut or a set down. So you end up with that's a slightly different structure. Right. Now let's start in the beginning and sort of say, well, what's the step in? Well, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, hop. Step, yeah, like you normally would do. Right? But the arm movements are swung across. Now, it's recorded this sort of swung the handkerchief goes from the right up, but that doesn't work terribly well. It's much better to be more relaxed. And actually, with, with its own, with a violation, it would actually swing over. So, D, one, two, three, dum, 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 d
wants what you asked me and not what you said. Harry Mary. <laughs> So I can dance as well as the rest. <laughs>
in the air. Whereas actually the one that didn't have a role is the one that's on the ground and pushing you and doing things. So it's a left foot tradition on the basis that you start with a strongly on your strong foot. Right. Left foot now when we come to the side step. Only people who do long jumps and high jumps and things like that, they always take off from their left. I yeah, do yeah, I No, I take off my right. And I'm right handed. I thought I'll because people always put the other way. Oh, yes, you do. Well I was going to show you that the army of the last truck. How about help?
constantly.
remember that bit. Oh, it's going down further. <laughs>
couldn't play one or one, two or the other. He played two A's and then two B's, and that was it. Uh, um, Mr. Could do, most musicians can do that. But when we get to the corner dancers, it's much more fun because the chorus goes in threes, but it will not so does the figure. Uh, and and now we, although we start with a foot up and in and then go into the first chorus, from there onwards, you don't do a foot up and a four, we do a half a hay and a figure. So it's 12 bars of figure music rather than so on. You don't have to worry about it, I'll shake at you if I remember the time. It's not that we're in the a corner movement is again now weird because this is one of these dances we have selected which is an enormous length. And as you, you do a corner movement over across and do something, you do a corner movement back, it's so like you go on and on and on and on. We did one dance like that yesterday at the opera just to remind you how much more civilised we are today. We don't inflict that sort of thing on people anymore. So there are four choruses. Each chorus movement, my corner, is in fact the sidestep movement. Yum bum dee da dee, yum bum dee da dee, yum bum dee da dee, yum bum dee da dee. So we're ready for the left. Let's all do that with our part, just to quote it. Yum bum dee da dee, yum bum dee da dee, yum bum dee da dee. Now the first time, it's what we call half through.